So back to the science part, if I give you a round cylinder and I fill it up halfway full of water, mm -hmm. its normal atmospheric pressure is 14.7 mm -hmm. per square inch. All right, suppose I cut a, a circle of metal and I put on top of that water and it fits the glass perfectly and that's, I put down one pound of pressure over that 10 square inches. I have now put 10 PSI over that over that water. Okay. So let's take that on a much larger scale. What happens if you're at 29.8 on your barometer, and then all of a sudden you get this front comes in, it jumps it up to 29, uh, 30.5, or whatever the case may be. Now you've got this huge front pressing down over the lake, over a massive amount of surface area, right. and you've seen the multiply, how uh, multiply on how it goes. So now that's what you're doing here. It's a lot so, of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. So bass and a lot of other people, other creatures down there, they have a swim bladder. Mm -hmm. All right, what's happening with that swim bladder. You ever put on a set of waders and go out in the water, duck hunting or goose hunting, yeah. you get down at five foot of water, it squeezes on your legs, right? It around you. Does the same thing. So all of the little plankton and your bait fish and any of the other critters out there that have that swim bladder, what it's doing to them is it's actually putting pressure on them. All right. And it's driving them where? Down. So the demo that I'm going to do for you guys is simply I'm going to have my hand mimic a pressure front and I'm going to be using some paper match heads and I'm going to show you what happens when you put pressure on water and, and how it affects just by me changing the pressure on my hand. Is it safe to, for me to be here? Absolutely. <laughs> matches, are seen, actually, matches are going to be wet. So. I've seen some pretty aggressive YouTube videos. Are you sure you're not, I'm not getting punked? Yeah, you're not getting punked on this one. I'm, I'm only going to do one. How about that? And I'm going to have to stand up to do this. Oh, so here we go. Oh, we lost the, yeah. we lost the positive. Positive meniscus. So actually, I'll just top him back off. Now, and that's a positive meniscus means it's a convex surface. Up, upwards. It's it's up. Right. And I have to do that with this. So I put the match head right here on the very top of it, right? So I will try to hold this right here. Watch that match head. As I push down, what's happening? It's going down. But when I let off, where does it go? Right back up. Right back up. So you can think about that from the standpoint of what that pressure front's coming and going and what it's actually doing. It, the, the point is, the fish are feeling it. The fish are feeling it, and you can watch it now. The front's leaving. Where's that going? Going right back up to the top. All right. That's you, folks. Information is pouring over. If you want to learn more about every lake, how to fish, shallow, deep, in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bash U. Get on Bash U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it, folks. Keep learning.